Hey everyone, today we're going to replace the antennas on our RV. So today we'll be installing two antennas on my RV. And a buddy of mine told me about these and said so they worked on his. You can see here in the description that uh, these are universal and they work on General Motors, Chrysler, Ford, Japanese vehicles. And they appear to have a number of ad adapters in the, in the package as well. So I'll put a link uh, to where you can order these on Amazon in the description below. It's pretty common to uh, break the antennas on RVs um, just because of it's easy to hit low hanging uh, branches and so forth. You can see we've got these adapters here and we also have these things and uh, we'll take a look at those when we get up on top of the rig. So different adapters. Uh, here's the antenna itself. Flexible rubber. The mast is uh, the mast is 14 and a half uh, inches long. So before you get up on your RV, you probably want to make sure you have everything with you. The replacement antennas, uh, probably a step stool at the bottom of your uh, ladder, um, maybe some pliers in case uh, the old uh, the old antenna is stuck. Um, and you may want to, just a little bit of grease. I think that's optional, um, just so that uh, it's easier to um, replace in the future should you need to do so. Okay, so just kind of walking back to the back of the RV, you can see I've, uh, I've already placed a, uh, a step stool at the bottom. Uh, I'm not a big fan of climbing up ladders. If you're not comfortable climbing up ladders and getting on the roof of the RV, then maybe you should have somebody else do this job. Okay, so you can see this, this antenna is uh, broken off uh, completely. Thankfully, it's uh, pretty easy to unscrew. Now, I could probably screw the antenna directly here, but I'm going to use one of the supplied adapters. So I just need to find the right one. So just trial and error. And there it is. Got lucky. There's three. Um, and I'm going to, I think I'm just going to put just a little tad of grease on there. I think this is optional, but I'm just going to put a little, just a, a smidge. Okay. And put that guy on here. And then same for the antenna. Smidge, just a smidge of grease. And here goes the antenna. There. Make sure it's nice and tight. Hopefully we get good radio reception. And this will go in the garbage can. My next antenna is further forward. It looks okay maybe from here, but when you get up close you'll see that it's actually broken. Up to the front. This antenna, maybe you can see, is broken right here. So this piece is no good. But it's a little bit tougher. It's not going to go by hand, so I'm going to try just a pair of pliers. Okay. Loose. And there's a little bit of a little bit of corrosion on this one, so we're going to once again hit it with a little bit of grease. Hopefully prevent that. Going forward. Same thing as before. Just going to open up the uh, supplied adapters. And see if I get lucky and get the right one. Nope. Too big. Nope. This has got to be the right one, and it is. Okay. Again, with just a smidge of grease. Good connectivity there. Okay, I'm done up here. It's time to. Uh, 
get down off the RV and call it a day. I can't stress how important it is to be very careful on these ladders getting up onto the roof and back down. Make sure you've got good solid footing, good grasp on the rails. And that last step is a doozy, so be careful. This last step is a big stretch and it's worse coming down than going up. So make sure you put a step stool here. Actually, maybe even a, a bigger steps tool than this would be better. I'm flexible enough where it's not a big deal now, but in later years I can see this could be a problem. Okay, that wasn't too bad. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this kind of content, please consider hitting like and subscribe and leave us a comment and let us know what you'd like to see. Thanks. Until next time. You. Um, until we see you next time, happy trails.